Okay, my friends, there is something still happening on Rust servers to this day that I've been warning you all about for a very long time. As I've said in many of my previous videos, the best admin or moderator for your Rust server is the one that nobody knows is there. There are enough support systems or ticket systems out there that make it so that if you're going to be in your server and you have owner ID or moderator ID assigned to you, that nobody needs to know that that's actually the case. That's one of the fastest ways to kill a server is if your player base knows that there's an admin or moderator in there. No matter how hard you try, they're never going to trust you. So in today's video, I'm going to show you two different plugins. You absolutely have to use one of them. You can't use both of them. So you have to pick which one you're going to use. And I'm going to explain which one you should be using depending on your individual circumstances. But you absolutely have to pick one of them. Everybody, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy, where I teach you everything you need to know about owning and operating a successful Rust server. On this channel, I do plug interviews, tutorials, plus I want to give you all the tools that make your job just a little bit easier. So if you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that we're working on. And of course, as always, if you take any value out of this video, make sure you smash that like button for me. It lets YouTube know that you're enjoying my content and what I'm doing is actually working for you. And then in turn, YouTube will show my video to other people. So the dreaded green name that you see when you have owner ID or moderator ID assigned to you in your server is one of the biggest flags out there to let your players know that there's an admin in the server. And we don't want that because like I've always said, the best admin is the one that nobody knows is there. So you can still go in, you can do your job, whether that be moderating players or dealing with plugins or whatever the case might be, your player base doesn't need to know you're there. So the best way to do that is to make it so that your name in chat looks like everybody else's. And to accomplish that, there's two different plugins that we can use, but you can't use both of them. So I'm going to explain the first one, why you might use it. And then of course, if you don't fall into that category, then I'll show you the other one and why you would need to use that one. So the first option is no green and it does exactly that. It takes your name and it changes it to the blue like everyone else's so that your name does not stand out in chat at all, but you still have all of the capabilities that are assigned by owner ID or moderator ID. Now the use case for no green would be if you're not going to have a heavily modified server, you're not not planning on having a bunch of plugins in there. A really good example server of this would be a basically 100% vanilla Rust server. You do need to have Oxide installed in order to make use of no green, but it's not one of those plugins that forces you to be on the modded list. You can still be on the community list if you're using no green. The installation of no green is really simple. We're just going to drag and drop this into our plugins folder. We're going to let it compile. There's no permissions. There's no configuration. There's nothing we need to do with this plugin in order to make it take effect. And I know that's really small on the screen right there. Being able to read it is not important at this point. It just says no green was successfully installed. And now that we have that plugin installed, we can go back to our game. We can do a test in chat and this is what it's going to look like. Your name goes back to blue instead of the green and your chat looks just like every other player. You just look like a regular player. Now I really want to drive home how important it is that players on your server do not know that you're admin. As soon as a player sees your name in green, they absolutely know that you're admin. They know that you have abilities that they don't have. They're going to lose trust in the server. They're going to lose trust in you. Doesn't matter how how honest you are, no matter how hard you try to play the game right, they're still going to suspect that you're cheating, you're spawning things in, whatever, you're helping your friends, it doesn't matter. They're not going to trust you and nothing you say is going to change their mind. So take that possibility away from them. Just make it so that you never have to run into that problem. So that's obviously the quickest and easiest way to make it so that all the players on your server don't think that you have a player advantage over them. And at the beginning of the video, I said that you had to pick just one. You either use no green to get rid of that, or you would use my second plugin, which is better chat. Now better chat has a whole list of different things that it can do for you and your server. We're not getting into all of that. All I care about on today's video is making it so that your name does not appear in chat in green. So the alternative to no green is use Using better chat. You can't use them both at the same time. One of the biggest problems that people have when they do try to use both is you end up getting double chat. So if you have double chat and you don't know why, take out no green. You already have better chat installed. You don't need to have no green anymore. But the long and the short of what better chat allows us to do is that it basically allows us to format what that chat actually looks like from the name, the color of the name, the size of the text, the color of the actual chat that they're saying. We can change all of that up. Like I said, that's not what this video is about. I have other videos on better chat that go more in depth into what it can actually do for you. 
So for right now, we're just gonna delete no green out of there. We're gonna make sure that it actually unloaded from the server, and of course it did. And this is now what my chat looks like again. It went back to the green name. So now we're gonna go back and we're going to install better chat instead. So we'll just drag and drop that into my plugins folder. We'll wait for it to compile up in my server. There it is. But now we have a little bit more work to do. And this is another thing that I'm still seeing on servers that just grinds my gears. You know what really grinds my gears? Nobody's come up with a new priest and a rabbi joke in like 30 years. Because I told everybody not to do this, but I'm still seeing it happen. Might be an oversight, might be laziness, I'm not sure, but we have to put a stop to this. So let's have a look at what my chat looks like now that we have better chat installed and no green removed. So as you can see there, it says player next to my name and then my name, and then it shows what my text actually is. This just drives me insane. What that tells every player that joins your server is that you don't care enough about your server to actually put in the wrench time to make it so that things actually look proper. That bracket with player next to your name basically means you took this plugin, you dropped it in there, you did nothing further with it. You've basically ditched all of the details. However, at this point, you'll notice that my name did go back to blue and does look like every other player would if there was other players in here chatting. So that aspect of things is working. However, we have to get rid of that player next to the name. So to do that, we go back into the file system for our server, we go into the data folder, and then we go into the betterchat.json. And this of course is where you can configure exactly what that chat including the name is going to look like every time they appear. So if you absolutely insist on having a tag next to their name, you of course can define that right here. So we go into this player section right here and we can change this up to whatever it is that we want to actually have it say. If I wanted to have a tag next to every player's name that says YouTube, just as an example, then it would look just like this. Save that file, reload better chat, and this is what it looks like after we've made those changes. So even just that right there looks like you've put in just an ounce of effort into your server. It definitely looks better than just having player. However, if you just wanted to make it look normal, as if there was no plugin installed on this server whatsoever, we have the option of hiding that tag next to the name. So just look for the section where it says hidden set to false. We're going to change that to true. We're going to save that file. We're going to reload the plugin one more time. And this is what your chat is going to look like now. It looks exactly like it would if you were a regular player on this server. No plugins, no admin, no moderator, no nothing. You just look like a regular player. Nobody would be any wiser that you have any abilities on this server over what they already have. And I'm going to bring up my reasoning for this one more time in this video. It's incredibly important that your player base doesn't think that you're in your server, spawning in items, helping your friends, doing all of the various different things, flying around, no clipping, doing all of the things that basically give you or your friends an advantage over any other player. It's incredibly important. I can't stress to you how important this is. So something as simple as hiding your name in chat so that it doesn't come out and say, boom, guess what? I'm the owner of this server. That is absolutely a step that you have to take on your server. If you would like to check out a video where I do an in-depth tutorial on all of the advantages that Better Chat will have for you, check out this video right here. And of course, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next week.